and in your bones, but taps on your toes and get you on, get a rhythm. A little shoe shine boy, he never gets low down, but he's got the dirtiest job in town, get a rhythm. Okay, so more Warframe. Now, what are the worst weapons in-game at the minute? It's a good question because there are quite a few not-so-good weapons. So I did go ahead and ask you guys in my Platinum giveaway video to tell me what you thought was the worst weapon in-game. And quite frankly, you fuckers broke my inbox in one day, giving me nearly a thousand comments to filter through to try and figure out what you thought was the top 10 uh, terrible weapons. So thank you very much for that. Now this list was comprised by you guys, like I said, not by me. So please, no bitching in the comment section if you see your favorite weapon in here or a weapon you even like. No jimmies are to be rustled in the making of this video or in the watching of this video even. I really can't stress that enough. The last thing I need is some keyboard warrior messaging me. Oh my god, Taylor, why have you added my favorite weapon? You're a dick. So please calm your tits. And now an honorable mention goes to a few weapons that I couldn't fit into this list of the top 10, but in the eyes of you guys are equally as shit as each other. There is the Volcao, there is the Mutalist Quanta which fires beach balls, there is the AK Lato, the Sestra and the Jewel Sestra which have you firing at the ceiling the whole time, uh, the Ceramic Dagger and of course the fucking Pangolin Sword. So I'll jump in and start the list and at number 10 is of course the Supra with its extremely long wind up time, its floating bullets that seem to go all over the place, nuts for recoil and a really long reload time. It requires a lot of research and a form to build as well and all of this comes in at mastery rank 7. This thing for a very short period of time believe it or not was the best primary weapon in the game well for a few weeks until the soma came out and then it was completely forgotten about but right now at the minute unless you have buckets of form attached to this thing well it is just a massive letdown to some it is still loved so maybe this is one of the weapons you don't agree should be in the top 10 then let me know in the comment section no hate Number 9 is the Venka. Expectations for turning your Warframe into Wolverine or Vega from Street Fighter were pretty damn high when we've seen images of the Venka. But then we got our hands on this thing and figured out that you would be much better having some kind of spatula to peel your own corpse off the ground. Also requires a form to build and without this stance you're pretty much boned. So in at number 8 is the Embolist, or aka the Piss Cannon, that requires you to be Mastery Rank 8. It has got the same range as Tyrion Lannister's Crotch Wand, and requires a form and 5 mutagen mass. Not to mention that it empties its load really really fast. It still works well with Vauban's Vortex, but it ain't really worth it. Its looks also seem to resemble some kind of infested fartland, so in my eyes it's definitely well worth being in the top 10. Now at number 7 is the Tigris or our double barrel shotgun. We all wanted to be Ash from Evil Dead but instead just ended up dead. It's got a really low pellet count, really low crit chance, really low magazine size of only two fucking rounds, huge fucking reload speed. You spend more time reloading with this thing than you actually do killing stuff. Not to mention running away while trying to reload so as you can just get that shot off. This thing is just terrible in my eyes. Even though it is the highest damaging uh, shotgun out there, it's just really not worth taking on any high level mission. Maybe if you're just having a bit of fun, I guess, if running away is your idea of fun, then definitely build the Tigris. In at number six is the Ballistica. Not to be confused with the once terrible Raktar Ballistica, which is now quite good. Giggity. Uh, how many even knew this thing existed before the Raktar came out? Charge shots have a slow travel time. The semi-auto shots have mad side-to-side -side recoil. If you're looking to kill a Grineo Bombard, then ha, good luck with this piece of crap. It must be charged to deal any kind of serious damage, which leaves you dealing much, much lower DPS. Definitely not one of the good sidearms in the game, so it's definitely worth being in the top 10 in my eyes. But it's still a little bit better than what's in at number 5. Now the Pantera and the AK Jagara. This is a giant fifth place for a pair of complete ball sack weapons that require a shit ton of components and other weapons to craft only to turn out worse or a little bit equal to the weapons that you've just sacrificed to make them because fuck logic. Now I think you guys put these in the top 10 simply because of the components and how long and how hard it is to make them. Not so much for the damage although the Pantera is pretty pish. Now any Dead Space fan was hoping the Pantera would be absolutely awesome but it turned out to take a lot of ammo for its secondary fire and its primary fire kind of just goes all over the place. As for the AK Jagara, where do you even start? You need two Latos, two Boltos, 
dual scanner you need two arcan cells a shitload of credits also you can have a weapon with a low crit chance long reload low damage the logic behind these two weapons for me is non-existent i don't know where the idea came for actually building them just face palm yourself if you see anyone with these two abominations in a public match because they are just terrible Now number 4 was a close run thing, I was going to add the pangolin sword in here which is an alert only reward but it got outvoted by another special kind of reward but note that the pangolin sword is just as bad in the eyes of many many warframers and I was kindly given the footage of it because I don't have it by Sir Gummy so thanks dude it is an alert weapon that like I said I never bother going for because it's just really not worth it even though I am a bit of a collector I still look at the alert and go meh can't be bothered. But the weapon I decided to go with for the fourth slot is the sheath, which might be a little bit of a sore point to some who still think it's a little bit good. It was a reward for all of us who completed the Operation Gate Crash event and made us immediately regret completing it. To quote the sheath's codex, to recognize your sacrifice, I am giving you this weapon, use it to defend the balance. What bloody balance? It's a can opener or a spud peeler. And I know it got some slight buffs along the way to its speed and the pointed wind stance is decent enough now but this was a limited time reward a reward not a consolation prize but why the actual fuck would you choose this over any other much better weapon any build that you can put on the shiv can be out damaged by any other weapon with the same build and i know some will try to defend this as an amazing weapon now but if you put it up against any low to mid tier weapon then this kubro can opener is just left sitting in the corner crying so for me, this would definitely be one of my own personal top 10 uh, bad weapons in the game. But in at number 3 is the Gracata. With its insane fire rate of 20 rounds a second. Your 60 round magazine is done inside 3 seconds flat and the fuckers you're shooting at are still alive. It's got recoil that resembles a flailing fire hose. It's got terrible ammo efficiency. You run dry in the blink of an eye and it is ugly as fuck to boot. It's got the second lowest damage per bullet of any primary weapon. Monkeys fling poo as a weapon. So do Grenier it seems. So if you're using this just sit down have a sandwich or something because when your squad's running a mission you ain't killing anything with this mad dog shit. And you're not fooling anyone either into thinking that you're killing anyone unless maybe you've got 7 form on it. So in at number 2 is the machete or more commonly known as the machete and in the footage you're seeing me using the machete race because I sold my actual machete for obvious reasons. Now the thing was so bad they removed it from the market and gave it free to everyone who logged in as a reward. Well done, you remembered your login details here, enjoy this finely polished toad. It deals less damage than the beginner scanner, it's used by elite, elite grenier troops. So if you've been a bold grenier then they give you this thing and tell you you are now an elite soldier. Go get him champ. Fucking dead two seconds later. Also its stance is pretty terrible and also the rate version sucks but not as much as the original. Which leaves us with the number one spot with a huge amount of comments from all of you guys. All aimed at how terrible this weapon is. And I will remind you this was chosen by you guys not by me. It is of course the Gorgon. With its terrible DPS, its long spool up time, its near 5 second reload, not to mention its spaztastic recoil that makes you feel like you've just had a mild stroke. Its ammo efficiency is terrible, its crit chance and status chance are non-existent. It deals primarily in impact damage because why not, the weapon is bad enough as it is already, impact is awesome right? And just like the Gorgons in Greek mythology, there is three of these now. There is the normal Gorgon, the Gorgon Wraith and there is the Prisma Gorgon. All three different variations of each other but all still pretty weak compared to so so many weapons in the game. But the original Gorgon is without a doubt the worst of the three. So try to look happy if you get this thing as a login reward now that it's gone from the market. I know I smile every time I log in and see this thing staring back at me as a reward. It makes me one happy paddy. It kind of makes you understand why digital extremes increased grenier accuracy when you see weapons like the Gracata, like the Gorgon and like the Machete in their arsenal. They're definitely three of the worst weapons in the game. But let me know what you guys think of the top 10 list. What weapons would you choose or take out or switch around? And I will say that while going through the comments section of the Platinum giveaway video, some of your comments had me in stitches laughing. You guys basically 
had some of the best analogies to describe what a weapon was like. The best comment was definitely for me from Note.AVA who compared the Sestra to trying to pee with a boner. Fucking walls and ceiling will be completely dripping wet. So thanks for giving me the giggles now. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave a comment and let me know what weapons you think deserve the top 10. Hit that subscribe button for more Warframe and also thanks very much for watching.